Nigeria's opposition African Democratic Congress has accused some state governors of stifling the civic space and intimidating opposition political parties in their states from freely carrying out political campaigns. The party in a press conference in Abuja, Nigeria's capital, singled out the governors of Kogi and Imo states, saying they have continued to use state powers to frustrate other candidates. Marvelous Obomano brings us the details. Nigeria's electoral umpire has announced that off-season elections in the country will be taking place in Kogi, Edo, Imo and Bayasa states on November the 11th. The polls, which are expected to elect governors and chief executives to the helm of affairs of the states, are expected to be an improvement of the recently conducted general elections. However, some political parties have expressed skepticism about the credibility of the upcoming elections. We believe that with the criticism of INEC globally that they will use these three uh, off-season elections to be able to make amends, you know, to correct whatever ills or wrongs they've done, you know, during the uh, 2023 general elections. Recently, the African Democratic Congress has accused state governors of states where elections are expected to be conducted of using their executive powers to prevent opposition candidates from freely campaigning for the upcoming polls. They are trying to uh, be above the law because they, there's constitution, there's a process and they undermine the process. So part of the rigging process is uh, what they are doing at the state level, where a governor will uh, make it that before you mount your poster or your, your billboard, you pay 50 million. Where is it on? Our candidate, Leka Bedide, was recently harassed. People were being chased, was being chased all over on trumped up charges because they wanted to stop him from, uh, from further campaigning. The national chairman of the party called on relevant authorities to investigate events ongoing in the mentioned states. I'm especially calling on the National Security Advisor, the IG of Police, and the DGSSS, and INEC, to look into the carnage happening in Kogi and Imo states. The party says that the action of the governors may cause voter apathy and may prevent residents of the state from coming out to vote during the polls. The voter party is not ruled out, but I am calling on the youth. I am calling on the women. I am calling on everybody, all uh, eligible voters, to come out and vote again. You understand? While the ADC has called for a review of the conduct of the governors alleged to be complicit, it is hoped that thorough investigations will be carried out to ensure the upcoming polls are devoid of issues. Marvelous Obomano, reporting for News Central.